are your radial cells? What, what is he calling them here in this slide? Do you remember I talked about radial cells? He's calling them parenchymal muscles. Radial muscles or parenchymal muscles, same thing. Okay, so they go from uh, the dorsal to ventral portion of the animal. These muscles go this way. And then longitudinal muscles go this way, and circular muscles go this way. I hope I'm making some sense. This is a cross section of the animal. Uh, pharyngeal cavity, uh, right here in your slides, you have it, nice and beautiful pharynx. You have inside of the pharynx, you have the gastrodermis, uh, columnar epithelial tissue, gastrodermis, another name for them, longitudinal muscles, parenchymal muscles, cilia, and all of this area, I would like to refer to as the acylomate area. All of this area, right, except this one, it came from epidermis, uh, it came from endodermis, which is the gut. Endodermis came from gut, gastrovascular cavity, gastrovascular cavity, gastrodermis. Am I making some sense? Epidermis. <coughs> Everything in between came from mesoderm, which is parenchymal layered. Okay, so I hope parenchymal cells. You remember any any cells which came from mesoderm is found in this area. It's called parenchymal cells. Okay, so those are pretty much. Uh, let's go see find a cerebral ganglion. Yeah, right here. The picture from your textbook calls it cerebral ganglion, and not brain brain analyze information. These animals are more primitive than animals that can actually analyze information. Uh, class trematoda, let's uh, talk about them on Thursday. We'll go over trematodes on Thursday. Before I put uh, Farhana and Ariana into sleep anymore, uh, let's...